Lights, welcome back to Marvel Live at New York Comic Con 2014, brought to you by Marvel Contest of Champions from Kabam. I'm Ryan Panagos, aka Marvel's Agent M, and we've got a big old cavalcade of awesome bright orange and yellow here. Guys, please introduce yourselves and what we're doing. Hello, True Believers. My name is Bill Roseman, Creative Director of Marvel Custom Solutions, and we're here with our good friends at the Florida Department of Citrus. Hi, I'm Doug Ackerman, I'm the Executive Director. And uh, what happened is we got together a few months ago, and we decided to do a Marvel team up and unleash upon the world Captain Citrus. Now, to my left is the writer of our exclusive comic, Mr. Ralph Macchio. Hello. <laughs> You're good. You have a mic. We got I have the mic. There you go. Okay. Yeah, uh, tell us a little bit about the comic, how you guys, you know, how this all came together. Because this is a brand new, it whole is. big thing that we're doing together. It is, Ryan. When it, when it began, Captain Citrus, he was he was a bit different, wasn't he, Doug? He was uh, a bit different indeed, yeah. He was a little more uh, rotund and soft. A little rotund. <laughs> um, basically, we worked together, and we looked at the existing Captain Citrus, who was a walking, talking orange. And the idea was, could we give him a revamp, so to speak, and, and could we transform him into uh, a superhero who could stand shoulder to shoulder with Earth's mightiest heroes. Um, so that began our discussions, and we started talking about, well, you know, what is Captain Citrus like? What sort of qualities do we want to get across? And part of it was um, uh, nutrition and how fit he was. So we began with that, and, and to my right, you'll see uh, the, the cutout of uh, Captain Citrus, and that was our actual very first design. And we went through many designs until we hit upon uh, the winning look, and we tried to incorporate, you know, his colors, the orange, the yellow, uh, the green you'll see here, a little leaf pattern, and even his hair has a little green to it. And his, his superpowers come from what we call the solar pods. They're on the back of his hands. And he can turn um, actual uh, sunlight into hard light energy, and he can create um, any weapons he might need to fight evildoers. So it could be shields, it could be swords, it could be a lance. Uh, you know, we, we've only hit the tip of the iceberg of what uh, Captain Citrus can do with his solar pods. So if I have enough citrus, I'm able to do that th those same things as well. Well, you know, we, we you know, I would say this in issue two because it's, it's issue one isn't the end of the story. In issue two, we're going to talk about the origin of how a young man named John Polk uh, turned into Captain Citrus, and uh, you know there is a mystery of these solar pods. They fell from the sky, but why did they? fall to the feet of John, and, and, and why was he selected? And we kind of hinted at it's his connection to the land, to the orange groves, and maybe to the orange juice that he drinks every day that brings out his amazing inside. Nice. Ralph, how did you get brought into the project? What was that like? Bill had uh, spoken to me about it. He mentioned something uh, about a new character that Marvel was going to create, and uh, it sounded extremely interesting. So I said, no, uh, put me on. And uh, once I heard about the, the idea behind it, and once Bill and I sat down and talked a lot about it, um, this whole thing came together. So, uh, and it's also for, for really a worthy cause to try to get people to drink more orange juice, which is a great thing. I like that. Uh, you also have over here a little bag uh, with some different art. Who's the artist on the book and on the cover? Well, this cover is by John Tyler Christopher. Uh, what's really cool is when he created it, it's in layers, and so all the characters are um, exist separately. So that we actually we turned it into a video that you can see at CaptainCitrus.com. Um, inside uh, here on the bag is actually page three from the comic, and that's drawn by Kev Sharp. And uh, yeah, and Ralph wrote it all. And, and um, one of the reasons um, I, I asked Ralph to write this, in addition to to um, uh, him being one of my best friends, is that um, Ralph is an author of some of the most classic Marvel stories. If you go back and look at um, some of the Marvel two-in-one uh, stories you did, uh, you know, The Serpent and Crown. Um, and I knew Ralph knows Marvel so well and knows what a Marvel story should be about. And I knew Ralph would br bring a very classic structure to this. Um, we really wanted to approach this seriously, even though we're having a lot of fun. We said, hey, let's really approach this and give it the, 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 the muddy Marvel muscle. And let's make a really classic story um, that still appeals to, to uh, young readers, readers of all ages, and especially modern readers. So it was a, it, it's a mix, really, of classic Marvel and, and new Marvel together. Love it. Uh, the big question, where can fans get their hands on or read and learn about Captain Citrus? CaptainCitrus.com. That's right. They can go there, and the, and the whole comic book is there. You can see the cover. You can see the interior pages. Uh, read the whole story and learn a bit more about uh, 
this new awesome superhero. The printed copy was just for here, for New York Comic Con, or is it available anywhere else? We'll have some limited distribution in other areas. We're going to be cool. uh, uh, using the Marvel School Network to get some distribution within schools, and nice. then we'll have some other events that we're going to feature the, the Comic Cat as well. That's right. right. Is there a Twitter or anything like that? You can follow Captain Citrus. It's at Captain underline Citrus. Uh, yeah, follow him on Twitter, and, uh, and let's blow his Twitter feed up, huh? Right on. Very cool. Thank you guys for coming on. You guys, stay tuned for more from New York Comic Con. We'll be right back. I think we have Frank Thierry. Ooh.